lighting okay? I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Are you joking? Mm. I just changed this sweater. <laughs> wow, it looks like <laughs> it looks like I did this on purpose. We're gonna pretend that doesn't exist. Hello, welcome, welcome back. My name is Maya, and today we are doing my Tokyo haul. I feel like this is long overdue. I don't know when this video will be up, but at some point, because I'm filming it. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. I think I'm gonna do it in a similar order that I did my soul haul in. So I'll do like skincare stuff first, and then just kind of see what the flow is like. If I'm forgetting something, this is gonna be very annoying. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay. I think I'm ready. So I got all of this stuff at Donkey. First, I guess we will go through skincare. This is the this is the Shirojun Premium um, Toner. I've used this type before in the past, but not for quite a few years now. Uh, this is just like a brand that's everywhere in drugstores. I just picked this up for when I run out of my other toners, just as a backup. Next is the Isofura Bong uh, All-in-One Gel. This says that it's like a toner, a moisturizer, a cream, a pack, like everything in one. It's a six in one apparently. I've used this quite a while ago. I would say it kind of just has a texture of like a gel moisturizer. I don't use it just on its own, but it is nice again to have as a backup. This is the Perfect Whip Collagen Face Soap Cleanser. Cleanser. Cleanser, that's the word. <laughs> so why do I always forget English when I do these videos? If you've ever seen the blue package version of this, this is like very, very popular. I've actually never tried it before, but this one says that it has collagen added to it. And so it's a more moisturizing cleanser. So I will be using this when I run out of my, typically I use the Isofura Bong like soy cleanser. So yeah, I'll just use this when it's, when it's done. And then I got some face masks. I didn't get that many. This is from the brand Hadabise. It is the Otonaniki B Care Mask, which in English would be uh, adult acne mask. This sheet mask comes in a pack of five. I actually have still like a couple extras from when my mom picked it up for me in the summer because honestly, I didn't think I'd be going to Japan this year. <laughs> but if I have to say like I have a holy grail, skincare item it would be this i absolutely love this sheet mask it has vitamin c and like matcha and other um, ingredients in it to help with adult acne like what it's used for and all the ingredients list and stuff and it's not like it's gonna eradicate your acne overnight but i will say that i use this and the next day my acne is a lot less inflamed and my skin just feels a lot better. Next is the, what's the brand? Uh, Momopuri Milk Jelly Mask. This comes in a pack of four. I've used this mask in the past before and it is very moisturizing. I would say like per mask, like inside the pack, it has so much fluid. No, that's not the right word. <laughs> Liquid? Um, you know essence the, the stuff that's like in the mask it has a lot in it like it is very saturated english yeah so i do i do quite like these it does have quite a peach scent to it i feel like it's probably not natural so if you don't like scented stuff maybe this wouldn't be for you but i do like using this like every once in a while and then the last sheet masks I got were from the brand Dududun. This brand of sheet mask is like absolutely everywhere. They have so many different kinds. This one is the Balance and the Moist version. Um, the Balance one says that it's supposed to help with like everyday care. This one is also moist. It is a like more of a deep hydration type um, for like adult skin. And I guess it's supposed to help with like wrinkles. I mean, I don't really know, but if you're ever not sure of what to buy, just look for the number one sticker. Like so many brands of products have these 
kind of to the point where I'm like, is everything number one? <laughs> like everything has won some kind of like popularity award or some kind of award. Biore UV SPF 50 PA++++. This is the water gel. I have been using this sunscreen for years and years and years now. It is my favorite, I would say. It's a very watery texture and so it does not feel heavy at all. I don't really find that it has like a white cast to it either. So I just picked this up just as a backup, just in case. Yeah, so this is just the Biore one, I use the Nivea one as well. I think it's mainly those two brands that I use the most. Yeah. In Japan, they call it Biore, uh, not Bior. So, I don't know, I feel like I like people say Bior, but I'm used to saying it as Biore. Um, and so, generally, people in Japan just say Biore. I honestly wish Biore was like a Japanese company. I'm not sure. Maybe Bior. I feel like Bior. Um, so, yeah, it's pronounced Biore. Yeah. I picked this up as well because the package is adorable, first of all. <laughs> It's like a bath bomb, but in a powder form. This is a yuzu scented one, and we all know that I absolutely love yuzu. So I had to get this. This comes in a pack of four. Oh, I'm forgetting something. One second. Okay. <laughs> this is the only hair care product thing that I got. This is the Ichikami hair treatment. I don't know if I've actually tried this brand before. I feel like I have. This is a moisturizing treatment. I first just saw the fact that it says it's peach scented, so oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I don't know if like if you've ever been to Japan, I feel like there's this very distinct scent of like floral and clean that everyone's house smells like and every like hair care product smells like and I just absolutely love this smell. It's probably not natural at all, but it smells so good. So yeah, this is just a moisturizing treatment. I think you leave it in your hair for like a couple minutes or so. I've used it a few times. I like it um, so far. So yeah, I just picked this up and that is it for skincare stuff. Let's go into like the miscellaneous stuff I bought first and then we'll go into like the BTS stuff. Donkey had so many uh, Sandio stuff on sale. I don't know if it's relatively new or if they've always had it. I feel like I've never noticed it before while I was there, but it's been a few years since I was there. Anyways, these are face masks. I got a couple different kinds. The first one was the Hello Kitty. This comes in a pack of five and they're so cute. It has Hello Kitty on the one side and then the other side has, what is that? A milk bottle and boats. And then the other one was the Kuromi version, also in a pack of five, which has Kuromi there, and then a cherry and a heart. Yeah, design. And then I got another pack for my friend, and then this is a 10 pack version, and it just has like this cute design across it. So of course, these are freaking adorable, I had to get them. But they weren't at every donkey I went to, I noticed. And so I did have to search around a bit to find more because I wanted to buy some more before I left. And then, bum, 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 what should we do? I feel like I'm forgetting something again. Ah, but I don't know what it is. Oh. You see, if I just plan this, this video would take way less time to make, but this is the only makeup item I got while I was there. If you know, I was searching for this everywhere in Korea and I could not find it. This is the Laneige, 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 uh, cushion foundation. This is in the 23N sand. So just me. It just looks like that. I could not find the pink version anywhere I went. The pink one is a more like glowy finish, whereas the green version is a more like matte longer finish. And so I honestly thought that these were only sold in Korea. To my surprise, this was at like, where did I find this? At like a Tokyo Hands, I think. 
like the most random place and it was just there and I did quite like it so far. I find though that even though it's the same shade, I'm not quite sure why, but I feel like this one comes off slightly lighter than my blue version of it. It's not a big deal, but just to keep in mind in case you're also looking for it, let's do stickers. I bought a lot of stickers while I was there. Or maybe not a lot. I don't know. It depends like what your definition of a lot is. I got these all at like Cydia. This one I didn't buy, but um, when I went to the sushi restaurant, the chef said that, uh, I think he said that the person who designed the Tokyo Metro like characters gave him like a bunch of these. And so he just gave me these for free. They're so cute though. They all have names, all of these little characters. These are like post-it notes. They're just so cute. And then this is like a different post-it note version as well. These are just a bunch of stickers. Flowers. Um, this one has like the alphabet. These are all for top loader deco. I got these like blue ribbon. This one is like cute little devil characters. And then I got the angel version as well. And as you can see, I've started using some of them. <laughs> And then, oh, and then I also got these ones. These are little animal characters. And then I got more photo card holders than I intended to. The first one is these two. These are like ID holders, but of course they are photo card holders for me. <laughs> this is the BT21, the summer version. I've been wanting this one for a little while. And so I just picked it up because it was on sale. It's like five bucks. This is the Pom Pom Pudding little like photo card holder. This side also has like a little pouch. So I guess you could put like a card in there or something. And then the back just looks like that. I do like this one because it has an actual like keychain on it as well. Let's just talk about all the BTS stuff I got them. <laughs> First is this. This is the Nemona like powders. And it just comes in like this. I found this at Donkey for like 398 yen, which is like three, four dollars, not even. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cheap. So of course I got a bath, I got a box. And then I realized once I got home, why it was so cheap. Because it says that the expiry day is November 1st. But I feel like it's fine. Like it's just a powder. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue eating them. I also thought it was kind of weird, the fact that it didn't come like an OT7. They just look like this. And I thought that there would just be a pack per member, but for some reason I got two Jimin, two Jin, and like no JK or Yugi. So yeah, I just thought that was weird. <laughs> but I do not really chew gum. This was like the new Kishiri Tor, um packs. I just got the OT7 one. It comes in with a bunch of fruit flavors, I guess. Next, let's talk about the BT21 stuff, or the Line Friends store. Stuff that I, we should start that sentence over. I got a few things from the Line Friends store in Harajuku. First one being, I got this like blind box uh, for keychain. I was so excited when I got the RJ keychain. Look at it, it's so cute. I don't know if I've already said this, but I feel like I said this in my last haul video as well, that I am very much an RJ, a casual RJ collector, we'll, we'll say that. And then this is like a thing that I just absolutely do not need at all. But the second I saw it, I was like, mm, I should buy it. <laughs> this is just a compact mirror, but it's Jimmy and he's holding cookie and it has like glitter on the inside. It has like one side is just a regular mirror and then the other side is um, a zoomed in mirror. What do you call those? <laughs> you know, like the, the zoomed in version, the magnified mirror, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I got this. And then I had to fold myself back and restrain myself. Oh, you weren't even seeing the whole video. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I got this. He was on sale. I'm pretty sure I paid like 
maybe $20, maybe not, like less than that. If you already have this, you already know, but um, it's like a fluffy material on the top and then the bottom has this like bean, you know, like in bean bags, the bean part. Yeah, that's like in his feet. And so he can stand up on its own, which I just thought was so cute. I debated getting like Chimmy or RJ, but the sleeping RJ face is just so cute. And I definitely do not have uh, suitcase space to buy both, so I only got him. Maybe next time when I'm there, I'll buy another one. I think that's it for today's video. I was almost done putting everything away and then I forgot. Of course, I got this A5 binder from Muji. It is a two ring. Not really quite sure what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I picked that up as well as like a couple Muji pens that I usually use. And then I also got a five pack of a four pocket sleeve. This was also from like a dollar store, but I don't know if I like it. Lately, I've actually been using this Icon, D icon, except I'm running out of space. It's like, girl, just stop buying photo cards then. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you what I mean by I don't really like this. I don't know if I can even really show it on camera, but this is the four pocket sleeve that came with the photo cards. But it looks like this, and like if you just hold it, it bends like about there. This is the one that like I got for like a dollar in a pack of five. It's very flimsy. So I think I'm gonna put my less important photo cards in these ones. I do also have a nine pocket binder. I'm just like not really that much of a fan of nine pockets anymore. So I might though have to put like these like OT7 ones back in the nine pocket. Oh. See, like it already fell out. <laughs> Instead, cause I don't really, do you see what I mean? <laughs> this thing keeps falling out. I don't really wanna use these. So I'm gonna have to reorganize this binder pretty soon. If you want like a binder haul, I can do one. I love watching um, resleeve my photo cards with me or like binder organization or like binder like, introduction type videos. I don't have that that many photo cards though. But I also wouldn't really call myself a trade, like a photo card trader because whatever photo card I pull, I get like weirdly emotionally invested in it. And then if it's not Jimmy, I want to buy him as well. And so I end up kind of with like two of each type. Yeah, if you want me to show you what my collection looks like so far, I could do that as well. I hope I'm not forgetting anything else. I really, really, really hope. Okay, go back to the, to the video again. <laughs> it feels like I didn't really buy that much, but I guess because I had such limited suitcase space, I, was really trying to prioritize like what I was gonna buy. So I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And if you haven't already, please go watch my Japan vlogs because I spent a lot of time editing them. <laughs> I think this is the end of my Japan series for this time. I'm sure I'll be there again real soon. So until then, I will see you in the next one real soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>